Hi, welcome to another video. So, Byte Rover just released its version 2 update. And if you remember, Byte Rover is by the Byte Rover team, which is kind of the go to for agentic memory layers for dev teams. It's used with coding agents like Claude Code, Cursor, Copilot, and a bunch of others. The main idea here is that you can store, sync, and share context between different coding tools, which is quite awesome if you're trying to keep your workflow smooth across multiple projects or team members. But the best part about this update is the new Git for AI memory feature, and I thought I'd talk about it first because it's actually pretty useful and something I've wanted for a while. Now, let me show you how you can use it, and as we proceed, I'll also tell you what makes it quite a bit different from other agent memory solutions. So, Git for AI memory is basically version control for your agent's memories, and it works almost exactly like Git does for code. You can create, read, update, and delete memories directly in Byte Rover's workspace. Each memory entry gets a full history with timestamps and side-by-side -side previews, so if you or your teammate make a change, you can see exactly what's different. If something goes wrong, or you want to roll back to a previous version, you just click to revert. You can also fork memory bases, so if you want to experiment with different onboarding docs or coding practices, you don't have to worry about losing the original. This helps a lot with traceability, especially if you're working in a team and need to know who changed what and why. It's pretty good for keeping your agent's context unified and avoiding those annoying moments when someone overwrites something important. One thing I really liked is how you can see the entire history of a memory with details of who made changes and when. So, if your team is collaborating on coding standards, best practices, or even just documenting recurring issues, you can be sure that nothing gets lost, and you can always roll back if something goes wrong. I mean, it's very similar to how you'd manage your code base with Git, but here you're managing all the context your agents need, which is quite awesome. And if you want to branch out and try a new approach or update some project documentation, forking a memory base makes it super easy to experiment without risking the main workflow. I thought this was a smart move, especially for larger teams or anyone working on mission-critical projects where context accuracy matters. Another thing that it has got is memory conflicts. This basically detects if there are conflicting memory in your memory store. So, if there's a memory that is duplicate, then your AI agent can get confused. So, it can tell you when there's a conflict and you can resolve it yourself. If you have multiple team members and there's some memory that overlaps between two team members, then you can see it easily and get that fixed as well. So, that is kind of cool as well. Right alongside the Git for memory stuff, Byte Rover added the Context Composer tool. Basically, what it does is let you build up the exact context your agent needs by pulling in docs, PDF images, and even just chatting with the agent to brainstorm what should go into memory. You can upload markdown files, internal documentation, or just paste in architecture notes, and it'll parse them into reusable memories. The UI is cleaner now, and you get this chat-like interface where you can talk to the agent about what you want to add or drop in files and images. It is very similar to Notion AI or Manus, but here you get more control of what goes in and how it's structured. Byte Rover has also integrated it with all kind of stuff like Slack, Jira, Figma, and Drive. So your agent will be able to pull in context from wherever your team works, which is quite awesome. If you're used to wrangling prompts or copying context all over the place, this is a nice improvement. But now comes the part I wanted to show you guys in detail, 
And that's the new set of specialized tools for agents. Byte Rover 2.0 now has 15 MCP tools, and they're all about automating agent workflows and making sure your AI coder always has the right context. So, you've got knowledge management tools for storing and retrieving programming knowledge, code patterns, and implementation insights, all with relevant scoring, which is pretty good. There are onboarding tools for generating and updating project handbooks. So if you're always onboarding new devs or switching between projects, this is super useful. Then, there's plan management tools for storing structured implementation plans, tracking to-dos, and picking up right where you left off, even across sessions. It is very similar to what you'd get from an advanced project management tool, but built right into your AI agent's workflow. You also get module management tools that let you document code base modules with technical details and insights, and then update or search them as needed. For the more meta stuff, there are reflection tools, so your agent can actually assess the quality of its own context and make sure it's ready to tackle whatever task you throw at it. That's basically like giving your agent a checklist before it starts coding, which is kind of cool. If you're curious about how these tools work together, here's an example. So, what you can do is that you can just get Byte Rover installed in almost any coder easily with the simple and easy to use setup that you get. So, I have it configured it in Claude code, and what I can do is that I can ask it to make me a plan of how to improve it and save it in Byte Rover with their new Save Implementation Plan tool that they have, and it will just go ahead and create the plan. And then, in a bit, it will get that saved to Byte Rover as well, and you can just go ahead and use it all you want. You can also edit the plan in Byte Rover panel and everything as well, which is quite awesome. I can also ask it to make me an handbook documentation for the code base and then put it into Byte Rover using their new handbook tool, and you'll see that it does that and saves it as well which is pretty awesome for sure. I've been using Byte Rover with Claude Code lately, and it solves the issue of context loss between sessions. Now, you can just ask it to save something as a memory, and it'll be there for you or your teammates whenever you need it, which is quite awesome. The memory syncing works well, and the ability to edit, tag, and rollback changes is genuinely useful. I mean, I liked it. That's why I thought to share it with you guys as well. If you're working with multiple agents or big dev teams, this update is worth checking out. It's not perfect, but the direction they're going with version control for agent memories and specialized workflow tools is pretty good. If you're into optimizing your coding workflows or want to try something new for team collaboration, Byte Rover is definitely worth a look. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.